Hello, football fans. Welcome to the second episode of the World Cup Roundup after another exciting day of football. Uh, I am your host today, Sean, and I am joined by... Me, TC. <laughs> Hello, football fans. <laughs> that's, that's the new intro. I feel yeah, like. fact, like we're aliens or something. <laughs> Gotta, gotta speak to the people, man. Gotta speak mm. to the people. Mm. Uh, oh, let me move this a little bit closer to me. Um, so yeah, yesterday we had an exciting, wow, a couple meh games of football, but a couple real exciting ones. Uh, we had Morocco taking on Croatia, Germany taking on Japan, Spain and Costa Rica, and Canada's first trip to the World Cup in a long old time, I think it was 1986. Uh, up against Belgium. Uh, so, I guess we'll go through each of the games in chronological order of when they appeared, or happened, rather. Um, so, I guess it makes sense just to jump straight into it and start with Morocco and Croatia. Probably the day's most boring game, I would, uh, I would yeah. say. What, what, what do you think? Yeah. Thirdly, back-to-back days on the records. Love that. We're finally growing. Anyway. We're cooking. <laughs> we're cooking. Now, nah, this was the opposite of cooking. I, we, I was so excited for this game yesterday, and there were four shots on target. Yeah. There were four shots on target. It was slow, boring, just a stalemate. But I think what that does show... In that Morocco aren't that bad because Croatia are a great football team and Morocco came to the dance. Mm, yeah, I, 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 whilst I do agree, I also think Croatia weren't good. Mm, yeah, um, it's clear to see that the only thing that really ticks in that team is the midfield, and like mm. kind of Modric was kind of a one man show yesterday. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, it was just disappointing. Like I, Vardiol was good. Mm. Modric was not great. I felt like we got dispossessed a couple of times, but slow tackles looked like the pace really. He I felt think he was it. on his own though. I yeah. think he was just cause when when yeah. he picked up the ball, he was like carrying it quite well, picking out passes. But a lot of the time, there was just no one, no one available. Mm. But I, do, I think Morocco were really well drilled. You yeah, know, yeah. like they don't get played like it, I think Croatia have a lot more fun playing through a lot of other teams, but they had no luck yesterday. No luck at all. When Kramaric came off, I genuinely was like, I did not know you were playing. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah. Just, it was oh, yeah, it, it, this was really disappointing. I It was my I was looking forward to it the most. I thought it was going to be really fun, open game. And it just turned out to be. An incredibly forgettable World Cup game. Our third nail nail draw of the tournament so far. Yeah, yeah, it was a it was a lonely old day for Cramrich up top, wasn't it? He wasn't really mm. getting much. Uh, but yeah, I guess like, the nil nils are to be, I suppose, kind of expected on the on the opening day. Like nobody really wants to risk it all. People mm. want to get a point on the board at least. So I I understand, but yeah, I was definitely expecting Croatia to walk away with this one, but. I think one thing that became blightingly obvious is that Croatia have zero pace in their team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know where where are yeah. the legs coming from. Yeah, I don't yeah. I, I do worry. But then we'll get on to the, the other game in this group. I'm not too worried for them. I think they might still come out. It's a real mm. up in the air group, to be honest, but we'll we'll get yeah. on to the other game. Also, Ziyech to be lying on the floor, like, puffing his arse out after the first World Cup game. After what felt like a second half yeah. where he just didn't show up. Maybe he needed a couple more minutes. Yeah, that's all. I've really not got much on this game, which is a shame because I was really looking forward to it. But it's what it really did feel like one of those first game of the World Cup. Don't lose the first game of the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like what we were saying before, uh... I think when we were in France and you're saying like you clearly see when you go to a live football game how important it is to like just make through make it through the first 15. Mm. I think a lot of coaches will be saying just make it through the first game try and get at least a point on the board 
and then we'll move mm. from there. I f- yeah, I feel that's what I'm like understanding as I get a bit older more. If that like football does go in waves, mm. and this was a great game for that. It felt like Morocco started kind of quickly, aggressively, and then it's that second as soon as about fifteen hits, it just sinks especially when you're playing against good teams because that's when they want control of the game because they know the first 15 especially in a big game like that it could be pandemonium see mm. where you are get through that they can hold of the ball and just like what croatia did is wait till the end of the half and then push on them when they're tired because they'll get complacent and like croatia did that's when they start creating modric had that chance which he blew over the bar mm. and yeah yeah it felt like the same thing happened in the second half of it mm. yeah i think if that, if that falls on his right foot that's going in yeah shame anyway how did you lose money on this one i'm still <laughs> on a streak of losing money that did not stop <laughs> yesterday <laughs> um yeah good point well i i know i definitely lost money on this game yeah so let me just embarrass myself on the I, I can go I, I can go first so i went el nasiri to score because apparently i'm a fifa merchant who thought those stats matter so i thought he was going to be able to bag one against dejan lovren didn't have a shot on target, absolutely airballed a header. Uh, and I think I just had Morocco to win. It was a short one, which I still managed to lose. How about you? <laughs> um, I basically had Croatia to win over 2.5 and both teams to score. Like I could really see a 2-1 in this game, but mm. the uh, gods of football decided not for it not to be so and gave us a 0-0. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think both those two teams have more to offer, and with how Belgium performed yesterday, which we'll come on to, I think there's still potential that they can both both make it through. Mm. Let, let's speak uh, about that game. Let's speak about that game next, actually, because it works to speak about them in groups. What yeah. did you What do you think about this one? Oh, I really felt for Canada, man. I I really did watching this game. I I think it was I had twenty attempts 20 shots mm. and you can just see that 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 forward line has definitely has athletic ability and they're good like ball players but they just really lack that uh composure and like finesse in the in the box it was quite sad to watch i thought yeah i feel like I had a bit of a different take i thought they played so well I, I, I yeah, that's what that's why yeah. that's why it was sad to watch because they and, played yeah. so well, just didn't take any chances, and they created so many. It, yeah, it was like on commentary that like that that was consistent. Like Jermaine Genus kept saying, "It's like they're missing that edge, they're missing that, edge, they're missing that edge." I do think that is true, and I think Jonathan David got to show up really because I'm guessing that's who they're looking for to do that. But you seem to st- no Jonathan David as well. Both oh, uh, I think so, yeah. Davis. Oh, uh, yeah, no, nah, my bad. Jonathan David, because I'm guessing next, but he's seemed to step back a lot and try to create, so I'm guessing he's looking for the ball, but they need him to be that edge. I do think, though, it could have just been one of those days. Like, they happen to everybody, that mm. they just nothing is hitting, and I, I hope that is the case, because well, because we're watching Canada, we don't expect much from Canada, we're all just, just assuming that it's because they just don't have the quality, but then it could have also just been a bit of both. Like, they missed a pen. Yeah, yeah. Like, Alfonso shouldn't have taken that. He'd never taken a penalty before. Jonathan David scored 9 out of 12. Like, it made, that made no sense. It, mm-hmm. But on another day, that could have been 2-0 Canada. Maybe 3. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what I think, hopefully going into the other game, they can take that confidence. But I could imagine that being a massive wind out your sails moment and really hard to pick yourself up. Yeah, I think when you you could you create so many chances and you just don't take that opportunity you've got to be mm. kicking yourself at full time especially mm. when given the result of the other games if they'd uh, of the other game rather if they'd you know finished just a couple of those chances they'd be sitting top of the group today yeah. and mm. would fancy themselves against at least one of Morocco or Croatia because mm. now they probably have to win both yeah i i was just so impressed by the coach I loved mm-hmm. that pre-game and the speech he did <laughs> after the game. Buchanan, yeah. I thought, was brilliant. Apart from it looked like he had two left feet when it comes to shooting. Alfonso, you can really see the talent, especially in the first half. But he does seem to be struggling a bit with staying in the he game. That, he had that hamstring problem yeah. before the game, didn't he? 
And where, it's tough when you have to play in like three positions in one game. Doesn't yeah. really make a lot of sense. But I I do think there's something there and with how they apply themselves. I I reckon they have a chance. If they I, 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 yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Like the 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 talent is definitely there to see. I mean it's that Belgian team is ranked second in the world for a reason, you know, that mm. whilst we've been kind of kinda of slating them, there's they're no pushover. But they completely ran ran them that game and deserve mm. deserve to win. And we're unfortunate not to do so, but I think that that just because it didn't go right this game doesn't mean it's going to go right another game. I think the with you know only having watched them once really ever Canada, I think you can only take them off that performance, and you kind of expect that that level of finishing to occur in the next two games as well. Mm, yeah, good point. Belgium. <sighs> Oof. Mm, it, yeah, that, they weren't it. They weren't it. That first half was shameful. Like, I'm a big Yan and Toby fan, obviously, but they are <laughs> washed. Like, yeah. cooked, it was cooked. bad. It was yeah. bad. You can see the age in their strides. <laughs> it's that bad, <laughs> and especially with that with that Canadian front three. They were just running them rampant. Mm. It's kind of what, what what we expected to happen. I think we both kind of hinted at it in our video that never made it to uh, up, upload. Mm. And uh, in yesterday's a bit. Yeah, that just with those fullbacks and that whole back line, anyone with a bit of pace is going to give them trouble. Mm. I Yeah, worried. But I would also say... KDB could have created or scored like four goals yesterday, especially in that second half. I think one one thing about KDB is he, I don't, he's not, yeah, it might be a hot take, but I don't think it is. He's not like a game winner. He like, he needs a group of quality people around him. You know, that's no knock on him, but I think mm. when you, you know, for the last five years you've been delivering to Sergio Aguero, Phil Foden, Fodan? Fodan? Fodan. Yeah, his Spanish yeah. cousin. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Riyad Mahrez, Erling Haaland, and then it goes to Batshuayi and a, you know, an Eden Hazard that hasn't played in three years. Mm. It's tough. It's it's a big drop off. I'm 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 looking forward to actually seeing Lukaku. Yeah, hopefully it's it's a little bit different. I think Onana's got to start. Axel oh, Witzel's yeah, been cooked for what feels like four. For, or three years yeah, now. I know. I can't believe he still makes it to the squad. It seems like Roberto Martinez just gets just blinded by the names. Like yeah. Trossard's got to play and Hazard's got to come on. Surely that's the dynamic there. And why would Hazard need to play sixty odd minutes at that age? I don't know. And I, I, I've never understood the Roberto Martinez thing. Even when Belgium hired him, I was like. Why? Like, he's yeah. been at Everton and Wigan. Yeah. I th- and they stumbled into third of the World Cup, really. But, yeah. hey yeah, hey Yeah, I don't think they're going to go far. I, I do think they may get... Oh, the- I'm just so annoyed they won this game. Yeah. you got you got you got to, like, in a way, kind of rate it that they did. Yeah, like, fair. They can't play worse. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's literally up only from here for them. <laughs> So where do you think this group goes from here? To be honest, I can see like I can see Belgium sweating out a win in mm. one of the next two games. So I would probably fancy Belgium to come out top. Um, and then I guess it's all to play for for the other three teams. There's only that one point separating them. Mm. I don't, I think it's still hard to look past Croatia, and I think with that midfield against Canada mm. the yeah I think that that might be too much for them yeah back to losing money I was all <laughs> in on calendar here after it was the last game of the day so I'm trying to make it all back in one bet mm. uh, Alfonso Davis goal involvement Canada to win under two and a half like this bet was here to be won yeah. and he missed a pen and I did, I just dropped my phone, I knew it was over. <laughs> yeah, 
I had the exact same feeling during the Germany game, which we'll, we'll, we'll get on to. Uh, but I, yeah, I can't remember what I put on this game. I think I had I had a KDB to assist, Belgium to win, mm. over two and a half, and both teams to score. <laughs> you can always tell when Sean loses a bet or wins a bet, because if he loses, it's, can't remember what I put on this game. If, if he wins, it's, let me get my phone. <laughs> we saw Most yesterday. definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Just wait until we get on my Spain bet, which I feel like I was <laughs> uh, Um But yeah, it was pretty... It was actually an alright game, to be fair. Yeah, no, it, I it, it, was, it was It was a good watch from Canada's point of view. Mm. If, you were, if you were a Belgian fan watching that, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Speaking <It's>... of sorry... <laughs> <laughs> Germany, Japan. Wow. My... Oh. All right, firstly, I'm sorry for all the Masiala heat yesterday, but I will defend. I thought he was really good at points. No, he, I thought he was quality. Yeah, I good. He, I okay. Great. Yeah. I thought you I wasn't gonna... about to roast you, don't worry. Yeah, I, I felt I was, you were I was in, in the first. Yeah, 20, like the first yeah. Twi- 20, I was like, I was getting ready to text you, like, Mussy who? <laughs> 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 but nah, he, he, he was really good when he came into the game, I thought. Should have scored. Mm. Yeah. Twice. Should have scored, yeah. But, you know, he's 19, it's his first game yeah. of the World Cup. You can you can let those things slide. I'm not sure the Germans will. They don't seem, sound very happy, and they weren't very happy, <laughs> like, with the with the German national team coming into this tournament. Yeah. And then they go and lose 2-1 to Japan. Yeah. I think the... See the mouth, the like, where they put their hands over their mouths? Clearly, a lot's happened in that camp. I saw the biggest supermarket in Germany pulled their sponsorship from them. Yeah. And clearly, yeah. like it was like over 50% of fans polled said they didn't want them to go. Yeah. So, I can imagine it being a very tough time. And I feel, I and we I didn't know about any of this until the pregame. And mm. that clearly, that would have obviously got to them. Yeah, and they yeah. did that display and they just weren't. At, they it, It's hard to think about football at that point. Where... Mm. You l- but they started really well. Yeah, I, think, I, I, I don't. Th- I'm not sure that was even the problem. I think they got yeah. too ahead of themselves. I think mm. when they went to one nil, and they had got numerous chances to make it at least two or three before mm. the half was over. I think they just kind of sat back a bit. Yeah, and they just let Japan have the ball, and it was just a different different game second half. What what I just hate about myself is that I will, yesterday, big up Japan to you, say how well, how good they are, convince you that Japan are quite good, and we're like, yeah, Japan are quite good, and then slam Germany bets. Like, the one time. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm betting Canada. I'm betting Morocco. I'm slamming underdogs all day. And the one I actually did a monologue on... I, no! I just slammed... I didn't even do a hedge! Plastic fan. I am a plastic fan, but on to Japan. I love this team. <laughs> yeah, they're so much fun to watch. They so play. Much fun. They are the Mexico of Asia. They play with such <laughs> aggression and fortitude, and you just gotta love a team that is so well drilled that comes out and believes they can win and show you from the first minute how they're gonna play, and you can't stop it. Yeah, yeah, because it was it was evident. From their first attack, I think it was the offside goal. Mm. It's like okay, so this is how they're going to yeah. be the entire On smoke. game. Yeah, On smoke. Ito was going crazy. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Quality. And then you, yeah, and then you. So then they scored that first one. I was like, oh god, okay, this is going to be good. One all, love it. And then the second one, which is route one, Rudiger gets absolutely burnt. Doan scores, and I'm like. This is kind of fair on the ba- on the balance after watching the second half. No, it wasn't yeah, like Saudi Arabia. Definitely. No, no, it was it was yeah. First game it was kind of a wash. I think Japan had a couple of chances, but mm. that final ball into the box was letting them down. And then I feel like in the in the second half, like something just changed. I, I, the German players just started becoming really relaxed, not really taking the game seriously. Mm. Like at points, I was. Feel like I've seen like Leon Goretzka doing like keepy uppies with his knees, 
And I was like, mm. okay, this is a World Cup man. Like you've literally just got on the pitch, mm. um, and that pace was too much. Like that, those Japanese wingers are zooming. Yeah, I was speaking to my my girlfriend who pretends to care about the World Cup sometimes, <laughs> about just like the upsets and how crazy it is, and then it does just feel like the rest of the world has really cottoned on to the quality difference is getting thinner. Mm. Like, especially for the emerging, like, World Cup teams, like your Japan's, it's always really been there for Mexico. But, like, some of the African teams as well, like Morocco showed yesterday. Like, there's a lot of players in the team to play in top leagues. But what w- they can do to separate themselves is just be really well drilled and play together. Because these European teams, often, it's hard they find that chemistry on such short notice. Because they don't play yeah. together all the time. Where the, that Japanese team, after that goal, it was as if they'd won the tournament. They yeah. Or the bench cleared. Yeah, cleared. I know. It was, and, it was so, so good to see. Yeah, where well, that would never happen unless Germany won the World Cup. And I really mm. think that's the difference. Yeah. It's a kind of an extra want or like a need to be there, isn't it? Yeah. But it's like Canada, that, that Canada thing of it. take it. Yeah. It's that thing of like, this is, this is potentially a one shot. So take mm. it. Can, Whereas, Canada had it as well. Yeah. But as a lot of these German players know, they'll be back here in four years' time. Yeah. And yeah, but all Japan have to do is beat the worst World Cup team I've ever seen in Costa Rica. I don't think they're the worst. They had no shots. That's the first time that's ever happened. <laughs> I, yeah, I think Spain are that good. Oh, like, yeah, we'll get Spain, on. Let's Spain talk about this really game. surprised me. Let's um, talk about this game. What are your takes? Well, what, what were your? What, how did you lose money on Germany? Oh, uh, yeah. So I had Musiala goal involvement over three and a half. So I was thinking like three one, just like I bet in the thing and Germany. So yeah. none of. Oh, I did also have um, Gundogan to get involved in a goal on my other bet. Both lost. So I did have a Japan <laughs> one, but didn't come in because Kubo didn't score. Or assist. Uh, it was just a pattern building here. Yeah, and L's. <laughs> uh, I had Germany over two and a half, and Nabri to score, and Nabri should have scored like three times. Mm, it was like yeah. screaming yeah, at the Yeah, I, I, I'll, I should post that screenshot of you going, Nabri, bro, the next <laughs> game. Like, <laughs> during that game. It was it was vexing me, man. It was vexing mm. me. Yeah. One of them was literally an open goal. He just mm. hit straight at the defender. Uh, but yeah, on to um, I don't, maybe not the, the most exciting game of the day, given what happened in the mm. Japan Japan game. Um, but definitely the best display of football I think we've seen in the tournament uh. so far. Yeah, uh, it it feels. I just don't. I I need to know how bad Costa Rica are before I can crown Spain. No shots. Yeah. No shots. Yeah. Like that. Like come on. Like at least shoot from forty five. They could yeah. not get. I out. think it was it was real hard for them. They they were just getting passed to death. Like the, yeah. Sometimes you just can't get near the ball, and I think mm. just their ta- their tactical approach was wrong. They, yeah. Against that Spain team, you. you there was nothing to do but put everyone behind the ball. Yeah, no, like, snap someone you... in half. I ju- I, someone yeah. just got to get snapped. That like I know yeah. it's like really boring Sunday league stuff, but at least when you go two 0 down, someone gets snapped. Like you got to just try fly through someone at that point. Mm. Just anything, anything to show that you want to be there, but it just wasn't there. But on to Spain, that's enough about Costa Rica. I hopefully they turn up for the other game. Maybe they did just write this one off because. Spain is, maybe if you're a bad nation, like not a bad nation, but if you're a smaller nation who doesn't have like much pedigree and players playing in the top leagues, the last team you want to come against is Spain because you're never going to see the ball. And what we saw yesterday was, yeah, frightening of yeah. how dominant that team can be even without a prolific striker. Yeah. Uh, I guess we've, see- we've seen it before um, with... Del Bosque's Spanish team in like uh, the early 2010s where they didn't use a, a nine 
but oh, there was something exciting about watching them yesterday. So especially Pedri and Javi, they were unbelievable. I thought Javi was man of the match for me. Yeah, it's uh, it's just frightening. Like you, you watch it and you're just like, Christ! Like two yeah, more of these guys. Yeah, He's well, nineteen. Pe- 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 Pedri's nineteen and Javi's seventeen, eighteen. I it? think Pedri might be a bit older, but Javi was like the third youngest goal scorer in World Cup history yesterday, and it was yeah, a banger. Yeah, Spain's youngest appearance and Spain's youngest goal scorer. Yeah, he. They are oh, arguably. Yeah, it, was, it was the pick of the bunch. Yeah, they're arguably the two best midfield players. Well, top five, six in the world, and they're. Mm. Just Pedri absolutely... definitely. Yeah. yeah, they start for one of the biggest clubs in the world, and they have been for every year now. It's insane. It's just frightening. Like, I've, in terms of, it's all of it as well. It's not like they just pass. It's the dexterity. It's the dribbling. It's the positioning. Yeah. And what I do love about like world class footballers is everyone says it's just walking, but it's it's when they walk. Yeah, because it's like you choose. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk into this space because I know mm. this guy hasn't seen me. I'm not gonna run into it because then that'll trigger people to where I am. I'm gonna get it, and I already know two different people I can give this to, and I'm gonna make all these decisions in one and a half seconds. Yeah, I, I literally every every time a Spanish player got the ball yesterday, you saw a triangle formulate mm. around whoever was going to press them. It's they're all just on the same wavelength. Mm. all the time and it's it was so good to watch and it wasn't like i guess i guess the, all the goals definitely helped but you know when you started when like spain were really exciting to watch in 2008 and 2010 and then in 2012 people were just a bit like oh i'm tired of this like football now because mm. they were just too good and kept the ball and like sometimes they would go one nil up and then just pass the game to death yeah whereas yesterday it was they were keeping that thing where they were doing that thing where they just hold on to possession, like possession is everything. But it's just the way they were fizzing it about and creating chances. It yeah. was, I think, slightly more exciting to watch than that that 2012 team. But probably doesn't, just, doesn't yeah. edge the 2010 team. Because this team's got something to prove. Yeah. Yeah. It really feels like this one's got something to prove. And there's just no um, holes, technically, from like back to mm. front. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, the Rodri thing, I was a bit confused with. And then five minutes passed, I was like, oh, no, I get it. Because he you're just not someone... Play, yeah, you're not going to play Eric yeah. Garcia. Pau Torres, though. That, that I yeah, thought Pau Torres was going to yeah. play. But then yeah. you, but then I realised, oh, no, because you've just got another anchor here. And it's yeah. not like the defensive upside Pau Torres is going to give you it's that different to what Rodri can give you in that position. But when you give Rodri the ball... It's over. You you're gonna yeah. keep it for another four minutes because he's gonna find whoever he wants from there. It's like the best anchor you could have, and it just made so much sense, especially like a team like Costa Rica. Yeah, yeah. I think in in those games where the matchups are quite strange, at least mm. like the, the the golfing quality between the teams, we'll see Rodri in that in one of those two two slots at centre back. It's just that like you said, extra anchor. If if Busquets fails, which he normally doesn't. You've just got Rodri behind him. Like that's a, that's a pretty scary two layer wall. Mm. But Japan are gonna do him. Just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know with how they play, maybe maybe that is a game. Yeah, I I can just see Japan getting real tired. Yeah, that, that yeah. Spain that Spain Germany game. Yeah, we'll, got my we'll, eyes yeah. set on it. Yeah, Germany. Yeah. That's all. Oh. If Spain can knock out Germany, oh, I'm here for it. Mental. What were your... Did you lose any? Oh, no. Then talk about your bet on this game. Oh. A classic. I did not bet on this game because I was licking my wounds waiting for Canada, Canada, Belgium. I thought this was a banker. And it was (laughs) for so long of the game. Um, So, I had... Spain to win, mm. over two and a half. Tick. Uh, Costa Rica not to score. Tick. Un- under 11 corners. Asensio Tick. to score or assist. Tick. Tick. Under, under 40 booking points. And then Did I that lost... come in? 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. And then it was only under... I had under 5.5 goals. And <laughs> I, sh- I, sh- I should have cashed I think the odds on that were rubbish minute. as well, on under 5.5. Like... Uh, they were okay. Because it's, it's, when, you, when you combine over and under, you get mm. like a, a real nice like odd on it. Mm. Um, but yeah, I was, I was when he got to like the eighty seventh minute, I was like, maybe I should just cash out because they could easily get two or like one in extra mm. time. And I was like, ah, oh, I've not got that much on it. I'll let it ride. But I was, I was quite annoyed <laughs> when they scored. <laughs> what scored, were the, like, what were the overall was, odds? Uh, it was like uh, nineteen to two. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Yikes. I know. It was when that Javi goal went in, I was like, oh, that was so nice. But I was also like, no, they're going to score another goal. Mm. It was but, a yeah. it was a great day of football. Yeah, yeah. Great another day. another another good day. And I think we'll get on to um, tomorrow's games shortly. Mm. But yeah, I think so, a, lot, a lot to look forward to. Something totally random. Uh, what I was thinking about it yesterday as the day ends. It doesn't the World Cup for me feels like a holiday? So it's like mm. when it starts, you're never really thinking about oh, it's going to be over soon. But I'm getting to the point of the holiday when I'm looking at the dates of like, oh well, you know when there's not like four points in the day when the football's on, that's going to suck. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. I'm really sad that soon we'll be only on well two games. We'll be on four games a day still, but I mean, two <laughs> two two time slots. That I sucks. Know. I, it's the best time I mean, you forget about it until it's there again and you're just like yeah. all day i get to watch my favorite thing all right new no, segment no more no more no more 10 a.m kickoffs soon that kind of sucks they can't lie yeah i know i do love rolling out of these into the, <laughs> the 10 a.m's all right yeah. new segment news uh, yesterday yesterday's video we did a little segment wrapping up the games over the last few days but for today's uh, short little segment, we'll be doing a. I'd, well, I'm sure people are familiar with it. I've used the website a fair bit, uh, mm. especially <laughs> during the Christmas period in the office. <laughs> everyone wants to play Sporkle because nobody wants to work. Um, but it's kind of like an online uh, quiz game uh, sort of thing. And we. What what's the what's the title of this one? You you're the one who chose it. FIFA World Cup quarter finalists. Ooh. Yeah. So I think if I'm if I'm right, we get five minutes to yep. name forty four. Did you say forty four? Yeah. I'll put a timer here. Yeah. Forty four teams that have made the World Cup quarterfinals. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. England. How quick? Uh, 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 yeah. What's your what's your like <laughs> words per minute? <laughs> Not as good as yours. Germany, Spain. Yeah, nice. Italy. Why France. do I do caps? Gosh, the mind goes black. The mind the mind goes black quickly, doesn't it? Uh, Brazil. Belgium. Oh. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck Wales in there. We made the quarterfinals once. Hey, uh, Scotland never, never have, have they? I don't think so. Um, um, Colombia. Is it? So it's, it's, is it a is no? It yeah, Colombia. Uh, USA. Did Costa Rica make it that one year? Yeah. Nice. West to Germany. Oh, that's it. That's 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 one I wouldn't have gotten. I think. Okay, what would that it one. be? The Soviet Union? What was it called when they played? USSR. Love that. All right, Germany, Spain, France, Italy. What uh, if you put? What if you put Russia? Might yeah. Be it. Yeah. Um, Hungary. Uh, yeah. Ghana. Holland. Senegal. Uruguay. Oh, okay, we're kicking. Uh, Chile. 
Have Mexico ever? Yeah, no, I'm... never made out of Well, I'll type it in. Oh, yep, they must have been 70 and 86. Uh, <laughs> I think it's just right. for seven in a row. Um, they've not, we're missing uh, got so past. many European countries. Look at Portugal. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Okay, so let's just go through the group today of Serbia. Belgium. Oh, you've got Belgium. Nope, Serbia never have. Croatia? Yep. Uh, South Korea. There were like those European teams that were like really good back in the day that aren't anymore. What about like you? Does Yugoslavia ever have a team? Oh, good luck on the spelling. Spell Yugoslavia. Y Y U G O Slavia. Y U G O. Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Paraguay ever? Yep. Uh, Two thousand and ten. Fair. US? Oh, you got yeah, US. Yeah, done that. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, we we're like painfully Italy, far away. Belgium, France, Germany. Never Australia. Germany, never China. Never India. No. So where? What have we got left? So we've many got... UEFA ones that we're missing here. Yeah, yeah. Right, there's another South American team though. Um. Hmm. What, what, Bulgaria Japan. maybe? Japan! No? No, they never made it. Yeah, Bulgaria. Yep. Uh, uh, Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. Mm. See, I thought Sweden thought no, but they made it to loads. <laughs> They're in 2018, <laughs> yeah. cries. They came uh, third in 94. Norway? Nope. I've uh, got Denmark. Switzerland? Yeah. Finland may have done it. Nope. Uh, Put, but give Scotland a go, why not? No. Nope. Ireland. I don't think they have. Oh, yep, yeah, they have in 990. Uh, oh, oh, come ah, on. UEFA teams. UEFA with a star. Romania? Oh, heat check. Love that. Oh, <laughs> 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 All right, um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm blanking here. Yeah, me too. Um, God, why can't I think of any more countries yeah. in the world? Bosnia. Bosnia. Did they ever? Why not? No. 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 Yeah. Oh, I'm so annoyed. <sighs> 33 out of 44 is There's not only terrible. like 13 South American countries, I swear. Like, I'm annoyed like, though when I. Oh, we're going to see some howlers here. Try Ecuador, real quick. No. No. Oh. Alright, here we go. Show us. East Germany. <laughs> we had West Germany. <laughs> North Korea! Yeah, that was the first one that caught my eye. Alright, North Korea, Cameroon, Cuba, Peru, should have got. Austria. That's bad. Yeah. Oh, Czechoslovakia. Slovakia. Northern Ireland, Poland, Turkey, Ukraine, East Germany. Okay, I... we should have got Turkey. I thought we did Ukraine. No, we didn't. Um, I'm sorry, have... Northern Ireland. <laughs> yeah, I know. 1958. That's a tough go there. Poland. Po we should have got Poland, Ukraine, Turkey, Czech Republic and Austria. Yeah. And Peru. And Peru. Maybe Cameroon. But to be honest, when I look at those, I'm not like, ah, oh, I know nothing. We got the average score. We are average knowledge people. <laughs> God, that's bad. We should do better. All right. Well, we'll work on it. All right. We did some predictions yesterday. Moving on to our, our next segment. Let me not share my screen. We did okay. Uh, so I'll put this, our scores up next to us now onto the new segment we were meant two points for a correct score we got no correct scores and then one point for a correct result and we got two points because we both said belgium are gonna beat canada we didn't get the scores i went three two and you went two mm -hmm. now and we both said spain were gonna beat costa rica uh, unfortunately no one said seven <laughs> i said three nil you said two and then we both went germany and then we both you went croatia i went morocco and that was it. Yeah. Some 
Yeah, some some howlers in there to be fair. Although ev- everyone would have gone with Jose. <laughs> I think that's that's yeah. That, I'm still not over it to be honest. It was so good to yeah. watch as well. Like a last like was it in the last five <laughs> minutes? I'm still ah oh. game of the tournament I think mm. so far. As there's a war between us now with this, <laughs> I'm gonna start throwing in some curves for today's predictions. Oof. Okay. So what's what's our first game that's kicking off in seven minutes that I need to... Yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> uh, Switzerland, Cameroon. All right. 30 second takes and then a bet. So I'm going to go... Switzerland are expected to win this game. However, Denmark has thrown me for a loop. I, I, I thought they were going to beat Tunisia. I, I really love Denmark. We talked about it in the prediction. So I'm struggling, the middling European teams, especially after watching Germany with Japan yesterday, to slam the bets. But Africa has not really shown up yet. <laughs> so I'm going to edge Cameroon on a swerve. Toko Akambi goal. 2-1. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, never bet the early kick, so I'm going to go opposite to what I would usually yeah, bet. 2-1 Cameroon. Uh, I really don't know with this one. Because Switzerland, like, there was that four five year period where they were actually an all right team we're kind of in like the top five world rankings area but mm. i just i just don't know anymore i think their team's actually all right uh i remember when we went yeah. through the their squads in the in the preview vid and yeah i, I think i'm just gonna have to go on my knowledge of the team i know way more switzerland knowledge i have way more switzerland playing knowledge than cameroon knowledge so I will go with a two nil to Switzerland. Shakiri to right. score another worldie, as he always does. The Bubakar's about to. Bubakar's going to break your arm, mate. <laughs> Watch. All right, second game. What what is it, Sean? Um. So in that group, we have our oh, second game is Uruguay South Korea, but Brazil Serbia is the same group, so. We can do Uruguay South Korea first if you want, just because it's on before. Yeah, I'm wearing a Son kit, but I love Uruguay. Yeah, me too. So I much. I really like Uruguay this tournament. Really like them. I think I think they could get caught up though in playing Suarez and Cavani. I don't. There's no way Cavani is playing. I hope not. But after watching like Belgium, <laughs> we like the legacy players. I wouldn't be surprised if Uruguay did the same, especially with their reputation in their country. People at home will be thinking, it's it's like Bale for us, it's Cavani and Suarez, they'll be the, the top of the world for ages. If they play Nunes, I'm all over Uruguay for this game. Yeah. But I don't know, man, after watching... No, I can't bet two unders. I love Uruguay, I think Uruguay will go far. They should win this game. Yeah. Son to score. I'm just going to slam 2-1 again. Uruguay. Yeah, I just I'm qu- sorry. I'm quickly checking um, whether Cavani started in the last game. He wasn't even on the bench against per- against Canada. Okay. So yeah, I I, I think if okay. he features, it will be like okay, with a goal down with five minutes to go, just get people on the pitch. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I really like this. I really like this Uruguay team. I think those those two in midfield. I'm not really sure how yeah. they're going to set up. I think they've been varying it a fair bit in the in the build up between like a four four two and a four three three. Um mm. but I, yeah, I think either way you've got Valverde and Bentico in the middle and they're gonna run most midfields rampant with their quality and physical like ability as well. Uh yeah. And because it's not gonna be one of those like dominate the ball no. things. It's gonna be pick that thing up, turn, spray it. One of the most fun double. It'll be apart from the Gabby and Pedri double pivot, the by far the most entertaining in the yeah. tournament. I I can't, I can't wait to see a South Korean team try to deal with the Darwin chaos that comes when he plays a game yeah. of football. Kim Kim Jim Mays. I think it's Kim. Yeah. Right, well, the, the, the whole back five should <laughs> yeah, Kim, by the way. But, but the Napoli one, I think you might have. He'll be yeah. all right. All right, so what's your score prediction? Uh, I'm going to go with 3-1. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Suarez, brace. Nice. All right, so let's move on to the next 
game. See. <laughs> Sui. <laughs> Portugal Ghana, uh, another great game. Yeah. Today is full of great games. This feels like a, a World Cup classic. I don't, I, 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 I don't know if it's ever taking place before, but Portugal <laughs> against Ghana oh. feels like a great fixture written all over it. Do you not think? Slamming the nail. I got slammed the nail nail now. You've pissed <laughs> the F out of this game. But no, yeah, you're right. Ghana, what, Ghana can't really defend. Hmm. Portugal have strikers for days. Ghana are incredibly quick on the counter. I'm so excited to see, I think his name's Sulemana, the one he plays for Ren. He's about 19. Absolute terrorist on the left side. So fast. Reckless abandon. Just just kick it and run. I'm so excited for that. Him and Kudus. Yeah. And Inaki Williams. The IU brothers, they're definitely rolling both of them out to play in this game. Great time. 100%. I'm back in Ghana. I, I, I want to back Ghana. Wow. Okay. I feel I have to bet Portugal now. <laughs> <laughs> but I will be betting on Ghana. I, yeah, Don't I feel like on. this is another upset. Although I think they've only played each other twice ever and Portugal have won both. Mm. Um, score prediction. I'll go, I'll go another 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one to Ghana. I think it might. It could be similar mm. to do, the Japan game. Yeah, I do think upsets are contagious. Mm. Yeah, cause I've, I've, like all so, the all the favorites must start like start to get in a bit of a headspace about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go four two. Absolute, as I said yesterday, barn burner, which I did look up, is a phrase. I believe you. <laughs> it's, it's kind of boomerish. Yeah. I can't lie. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, four two Portugal. Yeah, I think yeah. I I could whilst I want to see Ghana win, and I can see it. I very just as much can see a trouncing. Mm. On to another. This is my game of the day, bro. This is my game. This is your game. Ga- oh. Brazil Serbia. There's so many games of the day. Yeah, yeah. I just I'm gonna take my Denmark point and raise it. I don't think Serbia. I think this will be too much. Even with their quality, I don't think Serbia show up. Uh, um, I think I think it might be closer than people think, but I still think. I feel like Brazil will have chances that they will take. So like, I'm not sure the goal. I'm not sure the final score will necessarily like reflect the game. If you know what I mean, I could see like a three-one-four-one to Brazil, but with Serbia also having played very well and just potentially not taking a couple chances. If this was the early kickoff, I'd be slamming so <laughs> But because it's the late kick, all parity shall resume. Brazil will win. 3-1? Yeah, yeah. We've gone with goals galore today. I think that's why I would go 3-1 as well. And I said it before you said it. Okay. So. Oh, did you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Serbia. There we go. There are our predictions for today. Hopefully, we've gone on the other side more today, so hopefully there'll be more disparity mm. in the points. And finger crossed someone gets a right score. Ghana! <laughs> Back in the boys. Yeah. I would... I, f- I reckon Ronaldo scores today. Asamo Jean... If you're going to score, it's probably against... It's going to be against yeah. Ghana. Give Asamo Jean the redemption arc he needs. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, maybe they should do one of those like late hamstring pulls. Yeah, yeah. And then call him. Yeah. All right. See us out. Do an outro. What are you going to do for the outro? Oh, you've put pressure on me to do something exciting for the outro now. Yeah, you called me a boomer, so <laughs> enjoy this pressure. <laughs> to be fair, I've never heard anyone say the phrase barn. Was it barn burner? Barn burner. Yeah, I yeah. don't think that will find its way into my into my vocabulary. I can't lie. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, another exciting day of games to look forward to. Annoyingly, I've just missed a window to place a pre-game bet on Switzerland, Cameroon. Heartbreaking stuff. Well, it probably just saved me some more money. Um, oh, I'll, be, I'll slam them in place. <laughs> it's going on now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think f- at least three potentially really exciting games to look forward to today. Um <clears throat> And a bunch of exciting results yesterday. I think the World Cup has delivered so far. I'm 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 pretty satisfied mm. with it. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, I guess other than that, we will be back tomorrow for a back to back to back upload. <laughs> first time <laughs> ever. The streak's alive. I think the back to back is the first time ever. But yeah, yeah consistency is yeah. key, and that's what we're aiming for. Um, Thanks. Yeah, thank you all for watching slash listening, and we will see you tomorrow. Deuces.